the Pop Art Hunter channel, and today we're going to be unwrapping something. It's kind of like an unboxing, except I've already, for one reason or another, taken out of the box, and so now we're just going to unwrap it. Don't worry about that. We'll just do it anyway. This is the Art of Metal Gear uh, 1 through 4. This collection is uh, pretty sweet looking. I can't wait to unwrap it, and let's go ahead and get started and see what's inside. Another heavy set of books. I, I just, I don't know what it is. It's, I think maybe I purchase per pound. <laughs> I think maybe that's why I pay for certain things. It seems like the heavier the book set, the more I'll, I'll pay for it, the more I'm willing to. I don't know. It just seems girthy for some reason and, and something that's uh, uh, worth it. I don't know. When you get some girth to a product, you just, you think it's high quality. You think it's worth it. So this is um, done by Dark Horse. This is the Art of Metal Gear uh, Solid, the Studio Works, and the Gallery Works. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And I like to use a knife and scissors as little as possible. Once you get things started uh, with a little poke, you can usually peel off the cellophane pretty easily. I, I, sometimes I, I don't know, am I condescending? Am I talking down to you? Because sometimes I think, you know, they're going to say, the man is teaching us how to poke a hole in a piece of plastic with a knife and telling us to be careful about it, you know? But I, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm watching out for you. So... Up here. I'm opening things up when I shouldn't be opening them up. All right, so we've got this um, that describes uh, the the books uh, and um, the the set itself. Uh, it gives a little bit more information about about Dark Horse um, and kind of shows you some of the characters that'll be featured in there and the cover art and things for those books there. So what's nice about this uh, particular set is I really like that we have this uh, foot cover here, and so that's that's really cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this one out here. So we've got the studio works, and then the gallery works. So two separate books, um, but you know some great uh, cover work on on these. Uh, it's got some you know color artwork uh, versus some you know just a line sketch artwork. Not sketch, probably paint. I'm sure these are charcoal paint something. Anyway. Uh, but it kind of shows you how things progress a little bit. Maybe how these these designs went from here to a little bit more color, and that would then go to like a 3D setting um, in the game itself. Um, I'm just going to flip through a couple uh, pages of things. Uh, you you cover uh, the mechs, uh, just, you know, Metal Gear mechs themselves. Uh, here's you know some of the characters. There's Solid Snake. Um, We've got these kind of uh, model setups where they show you characters at different angles. I'm sure they use these in the design um, when they were sort of trying to do storyboarding and things of that nature, some of the character concepts. You even have facilities. Um, I'm not sure this seems like it would be Metal Gear Solid 2, like the various struts that they have, um, you know, on that uh, the tanker base. Um, and that, that could be from the first game as well, but uh, it kind of looks like that's maybe what it's from. I'm just making that up. I'm just guessing. And a lot of cool um, setups for the various characters, uh, showing you sort of the concept of what they thought they would look like. And then you can also see some of the themes and elements that they, they pull in. You know, Psycho Mantis obviously has a certain look to him. Um, and they sort of had those same and similar gas masks on some of these uh, uh, soldier designs. Um, this looks like it almost like it's Metal Gear 5. Um, but I'm sure they use that uh, in 4. I probably am forgetting and neglecting my memory. Here's kind of a cool one. Raiden almost looks like it's an anatomy lesson or something like that. It shows uh, the various um, kind of an anatomy of himself uh, inside. It's like it's almost like the real person is the skeletal structure of the, the robot. That's kind of cool. You know, it's almost like Walking Dead-esque, like a zombie or something with parts of his face coming off. But it's actually just part of the metalwork in the robot that's revealing things. And then it even gets down, I mean, into the the nitty gritty details of of the uh, of actually the setting of the game and and the and the the metalwork and and architectural design of the 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 facilities that they're in. So it's kind of cool. Now I'm not sure what the exact difference is, which hopefully we'll get to right now, of the studio works versus the gallery works. I'm thinking these. Uh, the studio works, I'm assuming, is going to be the studio um, concept art design stuff that they would use for the production of the game versus the gallery works 
maybe a little bit more uh, the you know they would have sold for things. I mean, these designs actually look um, like uh, they're from the Metal Gear trading cards that I've collected in the past. Um, it looks like similar poses that I remember from those cards. And I'm just, I'm really making that up. But from memory, I mean, those look very familiar. Um, and so again, I, I, I think these things could have been used on the products. Like this is the cover, the uh, original cover of Metal Gear Solid 2. And so I, I think maybe the Galway Works is more involved with things they might have sold, um, you know, putting on products um, and, and, and using that. Uh, these are actually from uh, the, the game inside the Metal Gear Solid 2 demo and possibly the first part of the game. I, it's been a little while since I, I played that. Um, yeah, but it looks like there's a, a little bit more um, solidified designs in here. Um, it looks like they're a little bit more formal. These actually looks like um, these actually looks like like screenshots from the game itself. I know they had some flashback sequences within the game um, and, and some photos that they would pan on. And so those are probably actually from within the game itself versus, uh, you know, the um, Studio Works book, which is likely a little bit more rough stuff uh, that was used to sort of design and develop the game. Yeah, there's Old Snake there in different uh, capacities. Metal Gear Ray. Mm -hmm. There's Hal Emmerich or Otacon and... This guy, not this guy. It's, uh, either Liquid Master Miller or one or the other. Well, and these are, uh, it looks like, from comic books. I'm not sure if they did a Metal Gear comic book. I don't get into the comic books as much. Yeah, so these are are pretty uh, neat. Um, and, you know, I have another video where I go through uh, another unboxing. And, uh, spoiler, it's kind of the similar thing, but it's a little bit different and a little bit better, actually. So these are really cool. And I like that they have this case that closes up. Um, you know, that's kind of a... I, I like unique features um, when I look at these different box sets. I mean, you, you want quality. Uh, you want, you know, sometimes... I don't even mind a gimmick. <laughs> I don't even mind you giving me something that just makes me be able to look at the book in a different fashion. I want to look at the book as though it's not just, you know, pages between some cardboard. I want to look at it um, like it's something special. And, and this is one little feature that I think makes it, gives it a little bit higher end of a feel. Um, it makes it seem a little bit better. Um, so there's the ISBN number down here. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Uh, and yeah, it's a really good book series. I recommend getting it. I'm so happy to own this set. This is a great uh, series of books uh, with a lot of great artwork. Um, I love Metal Gear Solid. It's a game that I've loved since I was a little kid. Um, it is something that I grew up with. I, you know, I collected the Metal Gear trading cards. If you know anything about that, that's a whole separate series um, talking about those. Uh, I actually recently just sold my entire collection. So uh, this was a way to, you know, sort of take this book set and, and fill in that gap a little bit, you know, kind of nurture my heart a little bit after having to part with that. Uh, but yeah, you know, I remember collecting the action figures from McFarlane toys and, uh, you know, playing the game series and being excited, you know, a lot of the PlayStation 2 was like, it was because of the Metal Gear Solid demo. You needed to get that. And so, yeah, it's just a really uh, cool series and um, the artwork style for the concept pieces. And I mean, the game itself is one thing, but it's almost like night and day, seeing the characters come to life in 3D in the games and seeing that 2D style um, that was used uh, for the production and the artwork is just, it's like a night and day difference. And it's so cool. It's, it's just... I don't know, it's, it's kind of this got this wispy feel. I mean, the line strokes and the brush strokes and everything, and, and just that stylistic look of things is, is just really neat. And I love those, and there's so much of that within this book, um, along with getting into the models and the 3D stuff and, and how it looks in the future games and how things have progressed over the years. Um, I think that base concept art has always stayed roughly the same, um, but the graphics have gotten better on the end, so we could take that concept and that vision and put it into a medium that has progressively been getting better as far as showing realism, uh, photorealistic um, images. Imagery. So a really cool series of books. Can't wait to look at them a lot more in depth. And uh, hopefully if you're a Metal Gear collector, you enjoyed this. And uh, also if you're a Metal Gear collector, you love Metal Gear, feel free to comment and uh, chat in the in the comments below. And I'd love to talk to you about it, answer any questions you might have. Uh, and hopefully you'll watch us again right here on Pop Art Hunter. <laughs>